We have learned so far how to get data from the database like movies, actors, etc. But the code to retrieve the data has been written inside the controllers, which is not a good practice. Instead of getting the data from within the controllers, we are going to add services, which we are going to use to interact with the database using the Entity Framework Core. And we are going to start with the actors data by creating an actors service. Before we create the actual service, let us go to Visual Studio and add the iActors service interface, which we are going to use to get the data from the database by injecting this interface in our controller. In here, since we are going to add the first interface for our first service, let us go to the Solution Explorer. And then inside the data folder, we are going to add a new folder. So just right click and then go to add a new folder. I'm going to name this folder the services. And then inside here, I'm going to add all the interfaces and the service implementations. So let us go to add and then go in here to new item. Then in here, select the interface option and then just name this interface the iActors service and then click the Add button. Inside this interface, we are going to define just the method signatures because an interface is just a contract. In here, you'll define the return types, the method names and also the method parameters. On the next part, when we create the actual service, we are going to inherit from this interface and then we need to define the implementation of each method defined in here. Let us first start by changing the accessibility to be public. So we have now public interface iActors service and inside this service we are going to have five methods. The first one will be used to get all the actors from the database and the return type is going to be an I enumerable of actors. And we are going to name this method get all. So you can see here that the first value is the return type. Then we have the method name. And in this case, we do not have any parameters, but if you have any parameters, you can define the parameters as well. So let us import the namespace for the actor class and that is the eTickets.models. Then we are going to have a method to return a single actor, so actor. We are going to name this method getById and the parameter is going to be an integer ID. Then next we are going to have a method to add data to the database and once we add data to the database, we are not going to return any data to the user, so just avoid. So the return type in this case is just avoid, add, and then here we are going to define the parameter, which is going to be an actor. The third method is going to be the functionality to update data in the database, and we are going to return to the users the updated version of the actor. We are going to name this method update, it is going to take two parameters, the int id and the actor new. So this is going to be the new actor data. So here we have the first parameter id because we are going to check if the id exists before we update the actor. And if it exists or if it matches the id from the new actor, then we are going to update the data in the database. And the last method is going to be the delete method. And in this case, if you want, you can have a return type or you can just void and then delete. And this is going to take one parameter int id. And this is all you need to do in the iActors service.